Can you talk a little bit about what options there are for fertility placement with strip till? Sure. So I think I'd probably break that into the kind of the two main camps for strip tillers. One is that you've either got generally in most cases a shank machine or you're go looking at a culture machine. And in terms of placement methods between those, I think shank has the most options in terms of varying placement. So, you know, with a shank machine in Ontario, you know, most of the time you're running six, maybe seven inches. So there, you know, I don't think in a lot of cases we necessarily be running deeper than that. Um, so you've got the option of putting fertilizer right to the bottom of that shank, six inches deep, or some growers have started, uh, you know, cutting those tubes up a little higher. So maybe they're running the shank six inches deep, but they're trying to deliver fertilizer a little higher up, say maybe four inches 